watching Northern Student TV, I'm Josie Terry. Along with a wrap-up, Sports with CJ covers one of our very own Beavers being named All-American in women's soccer. Let's see what he has to say. As Thanksgiving break wraps up, winter sports get into full swing. Hello, for NSTV Sports, I'm CJ Baumgartner. Last week, the men's hockey team went from a sweep against St. Cloud State to a stunning upset win and a series split against Minnesota State by a score of 4-2. to two. BSU got goals, received goals from Adam Brady, Nick Cardelli, Jay Dickman, and Aaron Miller. That big upset last Saturday handed Minnesota State their first WCHA loss of the season. So a great upset for the Beavers here in Bemidji. BSU will now go on the road and try and avenge last season's playoff upset loss and go to Houghton to play Michigan Tech. BSU women's hockey, although they didn't play last weekend, they played in the Hall of Fame Classic in Brainerd against St. Cloud State. And now they invite St. Cloud State up this weekend for a series against Bemidji. That'll be at the Sanford Center. BSU lost to St. Cloud State last Tuesday by a score of three to nothing. And they hope to have a better series this weekend here at the Sanford Center. Be sure to come out and watch the Lady Beavers play some hockey. BSU women's basketball lost a close game on Tuesday against UW Superior. They lost to the Yellow Jackets by a score of 68 to 60. BSU struggled from behind the arc, only going two of 17 total on the night. The bench only finished with five points. It was a, a very rough night overall for BSU. Brooklyn Bachman led the way with 19 points in her home debut this season. Overall, uh, chalk it up as a bad loss for the Beavers, but they hope to come back and start conference play strong against Crookston on Saturday. And the men's team will also play Crookston on Saturday. Both those games on Saturday will be at the BSU Gymnasium. If you don't feel like going to the hockey game, go to the basketball games on Saturday. We've talked a lot about women's soccer on this program, and for good reason. Senior forward Rachel Norton was named All-American this season, third-team All-American to be exact. Rachel Norton has been one of the mainstays for BSU women's soccer over the course of the last few seasons. Norton is the fourth member of BSU women's soccer to be nominated as an All-American in the program's history. Norton finished the season leading the NSIC Conference with 46 points and 19 goals. What an honor for one of BSU's greatest players. There will be a busy weekend of action of sports this weekend here in Bemidji. Be sure to go out and watch those sports any way you can, and we'll be sure to talk about them next week here on NSTV Sports. For NSTV Sports, I'm CJ Baumgartner. After a close race from the November 6th election, Politics with Jacob gives us a recap on the Brussel Bliss recount for District 5A. Election Day was weeks ago, but there are some races in Minnesota that have not been settled, such as the election to see who will represent Minnesota State House District 5A, which is the home to Bemidji State University. As it stands now, especially after the state certification on Tuesday, November 27th, DFL nominee John Purcell holds an eight-vote lead over Republican incumbent Matt Bliss. With elections this close, a publicly funded recount may be requested and it is very likely that this will be the case. A publicly funded recount of the results of an election for a state legislative office may occur if the difference in the number of votes cast for the apparent winning candidate and any other candidate is less than one half of 1% or 0.5%. The recount will be held on Monday, December 3rd at 10 o'clock a.m. at the Beltrami County Administration Building in downtown Bemidji at 701 Minnesota Avenue Northwest. Again, it will be held on Monday, December 3rd at 10 o'clock in the morning at 701 Minnesota Avenue Northwest. Anybody that is interested in attending to observe the recount or learn more about the recount process may attend. During the recount process, ballots may only be handled by trained election officials throughout the entire recount. Candidates, their representatives, and the public may view the recount process, but may not interfere or touch the ballots. 
If you have any questions or want more information on elections, election laws, and election results, visit the website of the Minnesota Secretary of State at www.sos.state. Dot mn dot us again that is www.sos.state.mn.us Tiffany closes things off today with her BSU weekly update Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of What's Happening at BSU. I'm your host, Tiffany Harris, and I'm here to inform you of weekly events at BSU and connect you with on-campus clubs and organizations to help you get more involved. Starting us off on Monday, December 3rd from 11.30 to 1.30 at Lakeside, North Star Visiting Scholars will be doing presentations on their cultural comparative studies. Refreshments will be provided at this event. Then on Tuesday the 4th in Hacks Hour 355 at 1 o'clock, Social Work Club will be donating tie blankets to North Home Children and Family Services. There will also be five speakers there to talk about their jobs within the company. Are you looking for living options for next semester? Well, come check out what the dorms on campus look like at the residential open houses on December 4th and 5th from 4 to 6 p.m. You will be able to go on a tour and see what the dorms look like in person. Also on the 4th, join the Business Club in Memorial 240 at 530 with Edward Jones. Come by to learn from financial experts on what a career as a financial advisor is like. All majors are welcome to attend and Edward Jones will be providing free food and a job opportunity. Also on the 4th, Newman Catholic Ministries is hosting their weekly Mass and a Meal. This is open to everyone and this event takes place at St. Philip's Catholic Church on 702 Belchime Avenue Northwest at 630 p.m. Stop by for Mass and a delicious homemade meal. If you are interested in becoming a resident assistant, peer academic assistant, apartment building manager, summer host, or eager beaver mentor for the next academic year, learn more at this informational meeting held in Upper Deck in Walmart, Walnut Hall at 8 p.m. on December 4th. On Wednesday, December 5th, Campus Activities Board is hosting a relaxation day at Lakeside from 11 to 1. Make your own essential oils and relax a bit before final start. If you have feedback about the dining services on campus, stop by the Viking Room at Lakeside at 12 o'clock on the 5th to share your experiences and how you think that they can improve your dining experiences here at BSU. Then on the 5th, the Mental Health Advisory Board is hosting their monthly meeting in the Leadership Center, which is located just across from the HMU Information Desk. This meeting starts at 5 o'clock and all are welcome to attend. Then on Friday the 7th, the Student Center for Health and Counseling is hosting their weekly Feel Better Fast Stress Management Workshop. This will be located on the first floor of Cedar Hall at 1 o'clock. It is free to all BSU and NTC students, and no appointment is necessary. This is a great way to learn skills in dealing with stress. With finals right around the corner, this might be useful to many of you. And now for our next segment, I am happy to introduce this guest, week's guest on what's happening at BSU. Joining me today is Noah Webster, the president of Theta Tau Epsilon, the only fraternity here at BSU. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. And let's start out by having you tell us a little bit about how Theta Tau Epsilon got started here at BSU. So Theta Tau Epsilon was founded in 1965, and I believe the correct date was September 22nd, 1965. And uh, we are the longest running student organization on campus. So. Nice. And what are some things you guys do throughout the year? Uh, we like to get our presence out in the community as much as we can. We go and we help out the food shelf a lot. We like to go and help out the Boys and Girls Club as well. And we help out on campus as much as we can. I know at the start of every semester, uh, we help out with freshman move-in. So that's a, a big thing that we do. That's cool. And what made you decide to join the fraternity? Uh, so I was the only person in my class uh, and from high school that came here to BSU. So I didn't know anyone and uh, I knew I wanted to get involved in some kind of way, join some sort of organization, and uh, the fraternity just seemed to be the best fit. That's very nice. And when will you be, when will you be accepting new members into Theta Tau Epsilon? Uh, we accept new members at the start of every semester. So next semester we'll be at the Bob, um, whatever date that is, the Bieber Organization Bash. And we, uh, we have a sign-up sheet and people can sign up and then we'll contact them and they can come to our rush events and then they can start pledging for us. So Awesome. Sounds good. Um, thank you so much for sharing more about Theta Tau Epsilon with us today. If you're interested in joining, check them out on Beaverlink or meet them at the Beaver Organization back next semester to get to know them and get more information on how you can get involved with Theta Tau Epsilon. And that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Tiffany and we'll see you next week on What's Happening at BSU. Don't miss out on more shows here on KBSU. Chop It Like It's Hot airs Thursday at 12.16 p.m. and The Huddle airs Fridays at 7.20, right here on Channel 17.
official home for Beaver sports. On the campus of Bemidji State University, this is The Huddle with Zach Lunt and Dan Amundsen. Uh, Should we just dump them? Also, he knows what's up, but it's true way. We found the pan. That's all we have for you today, folks, so we will see you next Friday. I'm Josie Terry, and you've been watching Northern Student TV.